Alright, so because of the recent issues with the two-factor authentication uh, not really uh, working with the old legacy SDKs, and they're probably not going to fix it, we might as well just start moving to VCC. Um, I'm not even going to get into VCC and why I don't like it, but I'll teach you how to use it. So, basically, when you open VCC, you have to have, um, obviously, the same Unity project uh, versions that we used before. You have to have Unity Hub, which I don't see why we need Unity Hub if we have this. I guess just take up more space on our computer. Um, and once you open it, you'll be greeted with like a few different pages. I think this is the first page you see. Um, this is stuff for those who really want to get into deep detail on how to do stuff. This is just a simple how to upload uh, and how to make a project video. Um, so down here is your upgrade button. I'm not upgrading this unless I need to. But this is your upgrade button to keep everything up to date. So what is VCC and what does it do? It's basically a fancy way of saying this is an auto updater. All it does is it automatically updates all your SDKs and all your scripts that you use. Well, in some cases, it's really great. And for the rest of us who don't want to be constantly updated, it's a pain to have to have to use, especially now that it's basically required to make and upload models now. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to make a project. I'm going to show you how to migrate. Um, since a lot of us are going to need to be migrating, I'm going to show you how to do that first. So you'll see here, I already have a few that have the migrate project button. Um, I'm not going to click on these. Uh, you probably will not have yours popped up here. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you go to projects and click this drop down. You're going to add an existing product project. And from here, it's going to pop up all your projects that you have. And you're just going to find one. Um, let's see. Just do this one. And when you click open the folder, you're going to see it pop up here and you're going to get migrate project. And so what this does is it's going to bring up two options. You're going to have migrate copy and then migrate in place. So you'll have a backup of your save, but it's going to use that same location. Whereas migrate a copy means it's going to take your entire project and make a copy of it. Um, and you still have your old version. So if you don't mind storage space or you want to get rid of your old one, you can either just migrate in place where it will save, basically save over it, but you'll still have your backup or have a completely brand new project. So absolute no mess, no, no chances of messing up here. I personally just do a copy because I'll usually just end up fully deleting my old project. Um, so I'm just going to do this one. Is I don't really use migrate projects. Um, it's going to tell you about all of this stuff and how it works. And when you're ready to migrate, you're going to click yes, migrate. And so it's going to go through this whole project of copying every single file. Um, this is the copy form. If you're doing the migrate inside that folder, it's going to go in and make a backup of all your stuff and also import in that same project. So I'm going to be right back whenever this is done and show you the next page. All right, now that we're into the next page, once that's done migrating, now I'm going to tell you what's the difference. A lot of people um, don't uh, notice, but the reason why VCC is so much more different than the original way we used to upload is VCC, the SDK, is the latest. However, it's imported differently. And this is why we tell you not to import any type of SDKs when using VCC. VCC will automatically update your VRChat SDK. However, it's no longer in the assets area of your Unity project. Whenever you make a project with VCC, your SDK will be in your projects area of your Unity package, not your assets area. So whenever you import an SDK inside a VCC project, you're basically over importing the same thing again and you will break your project. So remember to never ever import any SDKs when using any type of VCC uh, project at all. Um, so whenever we get to this page and you'll get to this page as well when you create a new project, 
basically these are all the scripts that they can also auto update for you i don't need scripts and i've never had to use scripts to do any of my unity work for me a lot of this is just slice of life stuff the only useful one would have to be the avatars 3.0 manager for merging like fx's and parameters um but like gesture manager and all those other stuff it's not really necessary nor needed and it will take up more space on your computer so unless you absolutely need them i wouldn't recommend putting them in there um so this basically will tell you all the stuff that's already in there and this is the stuff you could put in there if you want them you can press these uh, plus sign buttons and you can also pick the version that you want and it will automatically update these to the latest for you. So there's that. Once you do that, you can click open project and it'll open like a normal Unity project. The only difference when uploading is you will not import any SDKs. You will import your Pyomi and you will import your model. You can refer back to my old video on how to upload except just cut out importing the SDK. It's pretty much the same basic. As for creating a project, it's going to be the exact same thing. You're just going to create a project, you're going to name it something, pick a location, create project, and it's going to bring you to that same uh, menu of importing what, this, what you want to be automatically updated. I'm not going to create a new one, but I'm going to um, be right back. I'm going to switch into a project that has an avatar and show you how to switch to Quest using VCC because people are having issues with that as well. Okay, so now that we're actually in a project that um, has a model in it, this is a migrated project like we did earlier. Um, you see that there's no more SDK here. If you go under packages, this is where all of the new SDK stuff is. And so that's the difference is your SDK is no longer here. It's in your packages. So I promise you the difference does matter. Um, so leave it alone. The other thing you're going to import from now on is Pyomi, uh, your DPS if needed, and your avatar. Whenever you import something, you will have a menu that pops up before you click import. Make sure you're not importing any SDKs because creators for some reason tend to leave the SDK in there to make it easier to upload, but now it does not. So make sure you're not double importing your SDKs. I go over that in my old upload video, so you can refer to that. Um, so we're just going to open up this project before I get the question of what model is this. This is cat and bun model um, by uh, Bunny Sue that I did the unity work for. Um, <clears throat> so we're just going to use this as an example of how to upload. Okay. Ignore my quest tools. That doesn't matter. So the first thing people are having is switching to Android for some reason. Um, I don't know why they're having issues switching. Um, so before, if we look back in here, whenever you go to make one, um, there's an option to import easy switch to like Quest or something. I don't know if that may be causing the issues, but I don't really have that issue. I just switch the platform and it and it works. So that's how you switch to quest on here um if you have the easy switch to android that may be causing your issues so maybe don't import it i have no idea but this is how you switch to quest now this is going to take a while because switching to quest is we don't even get started on 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 switching to quest this takes a while um but i'll, I'll come back afterwards and, and show you how to upload like normal um, for quest but that's basically how it works it's it's just like a normal unity project except it just automatically updates your stuff for you so i'm not too sure now that we um are in the quest uh, android build um this takes a long time by the way even for me it takes a very long time depending on how much is in your project it's different for every project but the first thing you want to do is you always want to make sure you have your pc versions hidden Especially if you have quest tools, people are always like, how do you get rid of this? How do you get rid of this? Just turn off the PC versions. You can go back and edit the PC versions later. Um, you cannot have um, PC versions shown in the scene when you try to upload. It won't work. So, really quickly, I'm going to go remove my IDs because I just forgot to do that. One second. All right, so I had to go remove my blueprint IDs so none of y'all try to yoink my avatar. 
Um, so once you log in to the VRChat SDK like normal, um, the first thing you want to do is depending on which one you uploaded, uh, or I mean, if you have two, if you just have one, you're going to go to your PC version. Down here at the very bottom of the inspector, you'll see a pipeline manager. Sometimes it's thrown around because creators don't organize their stuff. Normally, it's at the very bottom, and you have this really long ID. You basically just want to click and drag that, go to your quest version, and you're going to come into your pipeline, and you're going to control V and paste it in here, and then click attach. And then when you go to upload, um, it'll upload under your PC build um so you would just click on it and then build and publish for android um if you don't have your pc version like let's say using two projects which in some cases you have to because creators don't make their projects very well um but most of the time you can have quest and pc in the same project there's no reason to have two different projects for quest and pc um if you don't have it in here you can also go to your content manager and copy your id uh, of the PC version in there and paste it in here as well. And that's pretty much how you use VCC. It's the same thing as before, just different with the SDKs.